Ever since Echo unveiled their new CS4910, there's been a lot of talk about this saw and where it fits into their lineup and the differences between it and the 490 and the similarities between it and the 501P. Now here we have a CS490, a CS4910, and a CS501P. And we're going to take a look here at the similarities between the 4910 and the 501P, mainly because the 4910 is replacing the 490 in Echo's lineup, and the new 4910 is a 50cc saw, just like the 501P. Now, one of the common things that we hear from the diehard chainsaw people is that the CS4910 shouldn't be compared to the 501P because the 501P is what they would consider a professional grade saw and the CS4910 is not. So um, we're going to look into this deeper than just saying, you know, this is an opinion, uh, you know, this is what we believe, blah, blah, blah. We're actually going to look at the parts breakdowns here and see what the heck the actual differences are between these two chainsaws. So let's jump right into this. So we'll start here with the air filter and intake system. This is a parts breakdown. If you look up the parts breakdown for the CS501P and the 4910, it's going to be the same picture. The only difference between the two saws as far as this section of the parts breakdown, it's a different part number for one part, and that is reference number eight, the thumb screw that holds the air cleaner cover on. What's the difference? Oh, it's a big one. On the CS501P, the actual metal part of the thumb screw looks to be made out of a harder material because it's goldish in color. And on the CS4910, it's nice and shiny silver. Other than that, the threads are the same, the length is the same, and they are completely interchangeable. So now we look at the engine itself, the crankcase, all the internals, which you would think would be the biggest difference between a pro saw and a non-pro saw, because you would think that there would be heavier or heavier duty or better stuff in the pro saw than the non-pro saw, right? Well, a little bit of information here um, before we get into the 501P and the 4910. Number 13 there, reference number 13, the crankcase assembly. It is the same crankcase assembly used on the CS490 and the CS501P. There is no difference between them. Now, between the CS501P and the new CS4910, there is a difference in the part number there. And the biggest thing was that there is a grommet that's not used on the new CS4910 that is used on the old CS490 and the CS501P. But other than that, everything you see on this parts breakdown here is the same between the CS4910 and the CS501P other than that slight difference between something with the, the crankcase halves between those two saws. That is it. The cylinder, the piston, the connecting rod, uh, the piston rings, even the, um, the gasket between the two halves of the crankcase, the, new, the CS4910 uses the new style, and the CS501Ps, that part number subs over to that new style gasket, that new part number gasket, but the bearings, all that stuff all the same between the CS501P and the CS4910. Moving on to the ignition system, you're going to find a couple differences in part numbers here. There's a different part number for the kill switch for the ignition. There's a different part number for the ignition module itself, for that insulator for over the spark plug wire, for the spark plug boot, and for that spark plug terminal that goes inside the boot. And we'll show you what the differences are here between um, a few of those parts. Here we have our CS501P on the left, our CS4910 on the right, and you can see that the 501P has the clear spark plug boot with the O-ring that holds it fast to the spark plug lead. There's a closer up picture of it. You can see the O-ring there. You can see the clear boot. Then on the CS4910, it's just a black rubber boot that goes over the spark plug, no O-ring, and the insulation is just a different length um, covering your, your spark plug wire. Then as far as the kill switch, the big difference here is on the CS501P, the wire is part of the kill switch. On the CS4910, if you saw, if you noticed it in the uh, parts breakdown there, there was a separate part number for the actual wire that goes from your ignition module to the kill switch. 
And then the kill switch and wire are two different parts, so they each have their own part number compared to on the 501P where it's just one part number, you get the kill switch with the wire already connected to it from the factory. So on the starter assemblies, of course, you're going to see a difference in part numbers there because it's a black starter housing on the CS4910 and an orange housing on the CS501P. There's also a different part number for the rope pulley um, on the 4910, and there's actually a different number, uh, part number for the rope grip, even though they are very similar looking. Here you can see the CS501P at the bottom, the CS4910 at the top, um, black starter housing on one, orange starter housing on the other, and then here's another shot, and this was just like we were saying with the grips, um, not really a difference between them when you look at them you know, as far as appearance and even the material and the feel of them is the same. Now here's the difference that really sticks out when you look at the two saws. It's an aluminum handle with a rubber overlay on the CS501P. It's a black plastic handle like they used on the CS490 that they use on the new CS4910. Also back there at your uh, control handle, Number 15, that part number there, um, reference number 15, I should say, that is a different part number between the 501P and the new 4910 because on the 501P, that part is rubber, and on the 4910, that is just a black plastic piece um, where you actually grip the saw to work your throttle. And again, I believe they are interchangeable because everything else is the same back there you um, need a different screw. Reference number 14 is different between the 501P and the CS4910. So I'd imagine if you wanted to swap the one on your 4910 over to rubber, you'd probably have to get that different screw as well. So moving on to the fuel system, reference number one and reference number four, they are different part numbers. Not really sure what the difference is there. I think that might have just been something to missions because visually they don't really look that different. Um, Number seven, reference number seven here for the gas cap assembly. Different part numbers because reference number nine, the strap that holds the gas cap to the actual saw, is a different part number between the two. If you take the two of them out, lay them on a bench, they look pretty much identical. So again, not a big difference there in these parts, but they are different part numbers, so we wanted to make sure to point them out. So here we are at our bar and chain oiling system. And reference number three, the oil pump assembly there, is a different part number between the 4910 and the 501P. I'm not sure about this one because they look very similar, and they are both automatic, clutch-driven, adjustable oiler assemblies. So I'm not sure what the big difference is between them, but it is a difference in part numbers. And then reference number six, difference in part numbers there. And the difference between the two is that on the CS4910, that clip is a 6.5 millimeter OD compared to a 6 millimeter OD on the CS501P. I'm not sure what the point of that is because all the other parts in that system are the same between the two. They must have just thought that there was an issue with that um, little hose clip being too tight and maybe causing some damage to the line. Again, not sure, um, but there are a difference in part numbers, and that one is definitely a difference in the OD between the two part numbers. Here we are at the chain brake assembly, and this is another one where I think that the part number just didn't supersede in the uh, Echo Part Smart um, program because the only different part number you have between the two saws is for reference number 14, that brake band lever, and it's, it's a different part number between the, the uh, part used on the CS501P and the CS4910, but if you look at number 11, which is the reference number for that entire assembly, it's the same part number for the assembly on the 501P and the 4910. So that's why I think that that number for uh, the part number for reference number 14 just didn't get superseded in the uh, Echo Part Smart system yet to show that they are the same part now used on both saws. So moving on here to the clutch cover, reference number one right away, the bar nuts. Flange style bar nuts, as you see, this is the breakdown for the CS4910. Um, on the CS501P, they are captured bar nuts. Reference number two, that is a different part number between the two saws because of reference number three. One of them has an orange clutch cover, the other one has a black clutch cover. The black one is on the CS4910, just like with the starter housing on the CS4910. 
on the CS501P. It's an orange starter housing and orange clutch cover. Then you move down to uh, reference number 12. Now, this is the same now on the newer 501Ps as the, the CS4910. Um, they're using one bolt with a shoulder to go through the chain catch bushing there. Uh, on the older 501Ps, it was a bolt with a bushing inside of a bushing. Then your other difference in this group here is reference number 15. They call it an inner plate. On a CS501P, it looks to be heat treated. And on a CS490 and CS4910, it is just a shiny piece of steel in there. So here you see the one has a black uh, clutch cover. One has an orange one. You can see the little bands there for the captured bar nuts on the 501P. This one is also a 501P with the older style um, chain catch. Like I was saying, you can see the metal washer in there, the shiny washer uh, under the screw head where this one used the screw, the washer, and a bushing inside the bushing. Now on the 501Ps, they use the style that they use on the 4910. So here's a better look at the orange clutch cover on the CS501P. You can see the little wires there under the bar nuts. That is what uh, makes them captured. They do not come off of that clutch cover. They stay with it. Now, the interesting part is, as you look here at the clutch cover for the CS4910, it also has those same holes because it's the same cover, just black instead of orange. So if you wanted to put captured bar nuts on your CS4910, you could. Or if you want to just put a black clutch cover on your CS501P, you could. And you could still use those captured bar nuts. Here you can see the inner plate that we were talking about. That was reference number 15 on the parts breakdown. You see the one up there um, in the top. That's on the 501P. The one down here in the bottom is on the 4910. This is a closer look at the one on the 501P. You can see it's definitely heat treated. And the one here on the 4910 is just a regular piece of stamped out steel. Now, the other big glaring difference is that you get a slightly better bar and chain combination on the CS501P than you get on the CS4910. But they both use the 325 chain. They both have the same link counts and all that stuff. Um, the bars and chains are interchangeable between the two saws, and they are also interchangeable between the CS4910 and, of course, the 490 that it is replacing. So everything we mentioned so far, that is all the differences there are as far as the parts in the CS4910 and the CS501P from Echo. That's it. Now you're probably saying, well, what about the carburetor? Probably a difference there. Nope. The CS4910 and the CS501P both use the same exact carburetor, um, a WT1141. The carburetor on the CS490, though, that is different, obviously, because it is not a 50cc saw like these two are. Now, we did mention earlier that the um, ignition module is different between the 4910 and the 501P, so there might be a slight difference in power there that could be attributed to that difference in the ignition systems because it might be a, a slightly different timing curve. Um, so you might get a little bit more power out of the 501P. But um, really with the numbers that Echo is advertising between these two saws, it's probably not going to be all that noticeable to the average user. So here's where things get interesting. This is always the fun part about talking about this new CS4910 because as I mentioned earlier, people will say, eh, it's not a pro saw. 501P is a pro saw. Okay, well then, we just showed you the difference here in parts and everything. The difference in price between these two saws is 100 bucks. The differences in the engines is nothing. Um, in the ignition system, yes, but as for the actual engines themselves, really no. So now you're coming down to aesthetics and a few operator comforts, such as that that rubber grip um, back here at your throttle area. So is it worth it to spend that extra hundred bucks to get the 501P or do you take the sweet deal on 4910 and save that hundred bucks? If you're using the saw every day, day in, day out and making a living with it, um, that's your main job. Then the 501P is probably going to be your better bet because it's going to come with the better bar, the better chain, and it's going to have that aluminum handle, which is more durable and it's going to have that rubber grip back there at the throttle, which is going to be more comfortable, especially if you're using the saw without gloves. Now, let's say you have a part-time business and you're cutting firewood and selling it, or you know, you've know you got a farm with a lot of trees and stuff like that. 
you need a good saw. It's going to be reliable. It's going to run like a professional saw, but you don't need to spend the money on a professional saw. Then a CS4910 is where you want to be. Um, you know, you're going to get a lot of the performance that you would get from the more expensive saw, but you're just going to miss out on a few of the operator luxuries and comforts, like we said, with the, you know, the plastic handle, the plastic grip back of your throttle control, and not as good of a bar and chain. Um, other than that, the CS4910 is going to be a great investment and hold up for quite a while. So here's my opinion. Um, take it for what it's worth. Uh, if I'm going in to buy a chainsaw, you know, say I'm starting a firewood business um, and I need to choose between these two saws, I'm going to take the 4910 just because that extra hundred bucks could go to other places, um, you know, such as buying a backup bar and chain or some PPE, um, some wedges or something like that. You know, if I'm just starting out, I'd have other places I could definitely use that hundred bucks at. But if I'm already into business and I'm making the money, um, you know, and I got the money to spend and I'm going to rely on the saw more often now, then I would look to the 501P. And that's just how I would break this down. Um, would love to hear some feedback from you guys. You know, drop some comments. Um, tell me what you think of this 4910 if you got to run it um, or, you know, your preference between these two saws if you, you got the chance to um, go in and check out the new 4910 and the 501P side by side. So this is a pretty good spot to wrap up this video here. Um, if you haven't checked out our Facebook page, Eshelmania TV on Facebook, um, be sure to like it and follow along there because we add some stuff here and there um, that you can't add, you know, to a, a YouTube video link, such as, um, you know, some of the other videos we've done for the Echo equipment. We've um, attached the uh, the fact guides there on our Facebook page so you can check them out and, you uh, you know, share them and there, you know, the information's available there and some other documents and stuff like that. Um, so be sure to check that out. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, be sure to do so. And thanks for watching.